Drivers, start your engines. We are Wasted underway <laughs> here at Portland. Sheldon Creed takes that inside lane. 25 laps are opening stage. Chandler Smith in the 16. And I don't know how we're going to police weaving your way through the A-frames if you missed turn one, but I saw one car that appeared to cut the corner there just a little bit. We'll wait word from NASCAR it, to see if there's any penalty. Yeah, and I would just think there's got to be some common sense there that he waited until all those cars went by, didn't pull out in front of them, that they're not going to make him go back around there. It seems like he paid enough of a penalty already. John, sure didn't waste any time getting racing my boys. John Hunter Nemechek up to second. And Jordan Taylor, first ever start in an Xfinity car, the 10 up to third. What is it about that 10 for Colleg in the Xfinity series, right? We've talked about it. Yeah, I mean, Jordan Taylor, he, he talked about that he learned at Coda running the Cup Series race earlier this year. Going to have to be a little more aggressive. He has good speed, though. We know the 10 car is, is cap more than capable of winning. So you're going to get a little more respect from all those guys that you're around on the track when they know that you're in with such a good car. And the best case scenario for him is to be up front and be there to learn this race car. When you're racing around people around 15th place and it's all you know, bottled up, you can't really learn how far you can go in the braking zone and how the acceleration of the side bite is. So now he's going to learn a lot chasing these two fast drivers in front of him. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Daniel Hemrick in the 11. Yeah, that, that almost yeah. looks like there was a, a fuel leak or an oil leak yeah. within the engine bay to, to have flames like that. It looks like it's coming out of the, 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 the carburetor, like the air box. Man, that's so frustrating under caution to have, have something like that happen. And it catches you off guard. You're rolling around, coming up to the twos. You don't expect something. And, and to be honest, I haven't really seen many fires come through the airbox. We'll see brake buildup or brake dust on the wheels during a pit stop, but not out of the airbox like this. Very, very wild looking. To be just a little bit tighter uh, on the exit of, of turn 12 and, and get inside the Shell Creek, kind of drag race down. But watch right here. It, it seemed like being on the in the position where the 20 is is better on the exit of that corner just because you're on the inside of the next corner. Neva check going to have the well, inside lane to turn the ball. He's going to give him the bumper here. Yes, he is. Look, contact. Creed back to the inside for a peek. More than a peek. He you is there. You can do anything for a lap, Adam. Yes. You can battle this thing out. Now, I go back to last year. Creed was in a position to get a lot of stage points, and I felt like in both stage one and stage two, something went wrong to take them out of contention. How will this one play out? But that's such a, a vulnerable position right there. John Hunter Nemechek swung out wide in turn seven to get the big exit. But when you do that and you open up that inside lane and you saw Sheldon Creed's peak inside of him. Teammates for third. Allgaier gets by Josh Berry. He's bringing Austin Hill with him. Nemechek leading as we head down to 10, 11, and 12. That big entry was risky, but it paid off on exit, and he got the gap that he needed here to get through 11 and 12, and hopefully bring it. Oh, oh, he's wide. Here comes Creed. Creed. Gets by. Turn oh. 12. Oh, that worked. Sheldon Creed with a comeback on the final lap, final turn, wins the opening stage for the top. Yeah, take a look at this right here, guys. We talked about how close you get to the wall. Well, this, ah, it's just a little <laughs> bit too close to the wall. Somebody handed him a water bottle through the fence there like a triathlon. So close right there. Just a little scuff. One lap to go in our second stage. All guy are trying to make that block, but Cole Custer was already there and going to force the issue. So wisely, he pulls back to the outside. Look at how much ground John Arnimacek makes up on the, on the entry to turn one. And listen, he's, he's wanting to make up for that crew chief right now. Like, hey, I might have lost you that first stage, but I'm going to go ahead and get you this one. Everybody likes different motivation. That's you might right. need a cheerleading, and John Hunter needed to be yelled at. Hey, and, and Taylor had dropped back a little bit, but Jordan now right behind Parker Kligerman for fifth. This is going to be another great finish to the stage. And as much as I would want to win this stage, I don't know if I'm John Hunter Nemechek, if I want to show Sheldon Creed where I can pass him right here. I might save that for the end of the race. I've already made that move on Justin Allgaier. They probably said that to him on the radio. But I don't know. I'm like, do I want to say that? No way he's saying that. Right? I, 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 I'm gonna say, no just, way. I, after the way the, the last stage ended, I'm going to uh, say he goes and gets it if he's got a way. Well, we're getting ready to find out in about five seconds what his plan is. If he punts him through turn 10, we'll get our answer, right? 
He's, he's about to make him loose in turn 12 right here. For oh, sure. it's turn a K, 7 and 12, and there goes oh. Creed. Roll reversal into stage two. Custer comes through. What a finish this is going to be. Back to the line. John Hunter Nemechek. Unbelievable wow. finish. Yeah, John Hunter lost his momentum off the quarter that it looked like Sheldon tried to pinch that off a little bit to not let him get to the inside and, and John Hunter Nemechek was committed to it. And he final stage in Portland for the Xfinity series. That inside row got a really good jump again. That's two really point, one position back for John Hunter at this point. That car's out of line. Like it's Austin Hill as we head toward turn oh, one. Oh, the leader. Cole Vincent Custer Vincent. off the Chicane. track. Oh, and he's not going to make the second. Unbelievable. Oh, no. Oh, and that's yes, that's, that's going to be a penalty because he didn't make the second second uh, A-frame tower. Hunter Nemechek wants to get by that seven car as fast as possible and put one between them. Oh, it almost looks like he moved oh, over to there Blossom. It is. There it is. They are at 12. Two gets the 20. Creed sees Nemechek. Payback delivered. This cost John Hunter a lot more, though, with all these cars stacked yeah. up. Stuff. Right through the, how much it's carrying the front. It's so much, so much more than everybody else. And it, if you watch John Hunter here, it's almost like he pulls over to, to block Sheldon Creed, which I think would almost aggravate the situation even worse. I'll tell you what, Sam Mayer paid a big price there, too, because he had to hop to the left to avoid the check. Gets off track, and he went from fourth back to seventh in the lead over second place Sheldon Creed of three seconds. It's down now to 2.6. Is Creed's car getting better, or is Allgaier just riding and taking care of his equipment? Used to, I would have said, oh, John Hunter Nemechek around again. That's a big deal. Yeah, he had Sammy fallen. Smith going through the chicane there. All kinds of action. Nemechek had fallen outside. Oh, oh teammates. Look at this. Wrecking each other. So that'll yeah. be an interesting We've, competition meeting, right? Yeah, we got to go back and see what happened in turn one. Cause I, was that connected? Turn one. Oh, it, I mean, oh yeah. It Sammy like Smith, Smith just got in there, got, got in there really deep. deep, and got into John Hunter, and then and the retaliation. Of course, his of frustration course is right a, back is together a ten too. right now, right? Because of what happened with Creed, and then oh my. But I just that's not, a, yeah. that's not the right way to handle that. I don't think with with your teammate slowly uh, been able to stay on trouble and, and work his way up inside the top five and fourth right now. Oh, that's going to be our call. Yeah, oh, big fire. Big fire. fire behind it in the grass. Yeah. There it is. Caution is wow. out. The oil pan and, and everything running out. Yeah, you can see oh, right yeah. there underneath the, between the two front tires, the amount of oil coming out. It's so easy to do on a, on a road course. It typically happens. Not hey, Brandon Jones right there with him. Keep in mind where he is. Came into the day 20 points below the cut line. Uh, but the problem for him is Jones just can take advantage. Yeah, Burton right yeah, there. Burton sliding through the grass in turn four. I, I'm going to guess there's more to, to that that race than, than what we'll about winners on road courses. He has three of them. And Trevor said it. Debris on the backstretch has produced the caution. Will most likely go to overtime here. This is the final lap. Next flag ends the race. Cole Custer out in front of Justin Allgaier. Think about the day for Cole Custer and the irony of him getting the race lead on a restart where someone had problems making the corner because that's how he lost the Justin lead. Justin is it's charging, though. It is early. not over here. It's not over yet, Adam. Allgaier's making a run for him here. And that last turn, you're vulnerable because you're going to have to protect the inside. And you know he's going to shoot it in there. And if he you do to. protect the inside, he can move you. And, you know, Allgaier feels like this is his race. I'll tell you what, it's going to be close. He can get a good exit right here down into turn 10. I don't, I don't know, know that he got enough. enough. No, I don't know that you can make that a shot here. Prior to last week, neither of these veteran drivers had won this season. We felt like they were contenders. Oh, he's oh, trying. He's, in there, though. he's trying. Allgaier wins it. Oh, and he go deep into the corner. Custer trying to do it no, today, but, but Allgaier is there. Final wow. corner in Portland. Wow. He might get like Custer out in front of Allgaier. Back to the start finish line. What a finish. Cole Custer, first win of the year, comes in Portland, Oregon. What a battle. Oh, Allgaier's going to be so frustrated. Had such a good car at the end. But 
but he did a good job racing Cole clean. Cole didn't move him out of the way. He was just a, the benefactor of, of what happened in turn one. He's pumped. Look at him. This is what Cole Custer came back to the Xfinity Series to do, is to prove he belongs in the Cup Series one day. He's here to win, and he got it done today. Yes, the expectations that they brought into the season. Yeah. The frustration, the disappointment they had to deal with. And now they both know they're championship eligible. Come September, they'll be going for the big prize. For Cole Custer, this changes everything. All the pressure of the season, the points. He's got the win, and he's in. Give me about a 9.9 .9 on this burnout and, and, and donuts he's doing. And as Cole Custer still tries to get his helmet off, his crew guys walk away with a lot of emotion on their faces after watching this win. The crowd still on their feet after those burnouts. You had to start at the back after changing that tire at the start of this race. Able to drive through the field, you only led four laps, but what did you see that gave you the confidence to go for it on that restart? Uh, I mean, just try not make mistakes. I mean, I did the same exact thing. I mean, I drove, I saw him drive in there so deep, and I did the same thing like two restarts ago, and man, I'm just so happy. I've never won a road course race before. I've been so close so many times, and it's just awesome to win this. I can't thank Haas Animation. Everybody in Stuart Haas of the Xfinity program and the Cup program. Uh, this is just a great day. JT, it's his first win as a crew chief. It's it's awesome to get this trophy, get that out of the way. So uh, I'm pumped for the rest of the year. We got fast cars. I'm starting to put it all together. I've got two more road courses in a row. Congratulations. Hey, race fans. Thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.